Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play. This is Diamond Lumberjack, and we are here in our resource mine, where I have discovered something. We have a friend. A little green friend. I am so happy to see him. So as I was digging out down here, I was somewhere halfway down this mine shaft here and I noticed there was a slime behind me well I looked into it more and come to find out this here is a slime chunk Woohoo! which is great because I was looking in swamps, swamps and I couldn't find any well, now our resource mine has come through, and we've got a slime chunk right here. I've already mined it all out. It's very slow. So, I was trying to figure out why, and I had read on some forums that um, if you have caves around, uh, your spawn rate will be lower if they're not lit up because of other hostile mobs. Well, as I was climbing up here, I could hear lava, as you can see, or hear, and I decided to check it out. So I went through this wall here, and I found the lava. Well, that's not it. So, I started to cover the water, or cover the lava with water, and I came over to this side, and I have found an abandoned mine shaft. I have only explored down here. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to make a video. And we will explore it as much as we can together. See you. Yes. Why not start the video out right, right? <laughs> oh, I love that. Which is awesome because now we got all these rails. Because I want to make a rail system in our uh, resource mine. So this will be perfect. Uh, I don't like that sound. That means there's a spawner somewhere nearby, probably. Sounds like it's above us. Let me get the iron and minerals on my way. Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. There's a creeper. I saw his foot. Oh, jeez. I'm going to go up real quick before I get way in too deep. <laughs> I'm going to turn the volume down a bit on this. It sounds really loud. Uh, wrong one. Alright. So I'm going to start by exploring this way. I want to go layer by layer because it's very easy to get lost in these. <laughs> I think. Ah. Uh, Is it a poison one? Oh, it's just a regular spider. Cool. Alright. So we'll start by heading this way. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we will have to go down. I should really go get some milk. Just in case we get poisoned. I think I'm gonna do that, so I'll be right back. Before we head back, I just wanted to show you I also finally found some diamonds, so I can get a pick and we can get some um, obsidian. 
and we could head to the nether sometime which is good because we need glowstone I can't stand using torches all the time so it's exciting okay so we're back in the abandoned mine shaft um, got our milk and food and weapons so I want to make a better pathway down here so we're not just dropping in on everybody I hear a skeleton He's got a bow, too, enchanted. Oh, wish he would have dropped his bow. That would have been cool. Um, oh, there it is. Alright, so we're going to go get this spawner. Hopefully. I can see us dying here, so... Huh? Yep, it is a spawner. Is there a regular spawner? Oh, it's a poison spider spawner. Cool. I'm glad it wasn't really spawning. These things can be a pain to get to sometimes. Alright. Well, that's deactivated. That's cool. That's awesome, because now we can make an XP farm here, too. Sweet. Ah, I should have brought a hatchet. <clears throat> Alright. Sometimes these are really close to each other, so... Nah, it looks like just the one. Alrighty. Another skeleton around us somewhere. Aha. There we go. So yeah, this this is really exciting because this expands this cave system as well. So that means we might stay here. That's why I haven't moved yet, because I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. Actually, if you guys wanna What do you guys want? Do you like this cave? Or should we move to the other one? We will still go into the other cave. It'll just be more, uh... One second. Oh. oh my gosh. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> um, where did they come from? This way, maybe? Oh. See, I I can get so lost in these places. <laughs> um, but anyway, like I was saying, what do you guys want to do? Stay in the cave that we got now? Or move to the other cave and then just add on to the cave we're currently in? Um, just let me know in the comments if you would like okay so we're gonna go this way first I see a creeper down there so yay is it just me or can zombies track you from a lot further distance now seems like they can Where those zombies are. It sounds like they're right by us. It's one bad thing about these, they're so uh no the levels are so close together that um, it's hard to tell where the mobs are and stuff.
You know, this opens up a lot of possibilities for our our cave system we have here. Really like this. Sorry, I'm not talking very much. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh my gosh, no! Cave spiders. died. <laughs> oh man, that was that was a close one. <sighs> All right, so man, there's a lot going on in these caves right now. Oh, I don't usually do this, but man, we almost died again. <laughs> All right, let's reheal. Okay, so we're all rehealed again. I'm thinking we might come back here, because until we have enchanted armor, this is going to be tough. And enchanted, you know, weapons would really be nice. Because <laughs> there are just mobs everywhere. But this explains why that uh, slime farm I was creating. It's not very uh, productive. Hmm. Yeah. So we have more we can uh, explore later. So that's cool. I don't remember how to get out of here. See, this is one thing I don't like about abandoned mine shafts. I get so lost. Um. Ah, here it is. Okay, so we'll head back to our cave. Um, I actually wanted to work on the slime farm a little bit today. I don't know if this is bright enough to where something won't spawn to affect our slime spawner. Our slime chunk. Whoa, I almost fell. I should really cover that. Alright. This will be another short episode. It's really late here, and I got to get up in a few hours. So by the time I get this edited and everything, it will it'll be pretty late. Um, so what I want to do is we'll go ahead and uh, probably add some detail to this area I'm probably just gonna make this a normal uh, no water roots for the slime on this one I seen that there is another slime chunk just kitty corner over there almost 
from this torch that way. I'm thinking about making the actual waterways and slime, you know, canals for that one. Because this one, I cut out too low. I really don't want to build up the floor to bring it up so I can make the channels for it. So, this one will just be a, I don't know, just a fun little slime chunk, I guess. And then we'll make our actual farm over there. But I want to make this look a lot better because it needs some work. I hate the squareness of it. So, I'm going to go get some mere t uh, materials. Probably make it out of dark oaks. You know, we're in a dark oak forest right now. And that's pretty easy to get, so I'm going to go get a bunch of supplies, and we'll get to work on this. <sighs> I had a noob moment with this recording. I forgot to record. I forgot to hit record. So, everything I did and recorded for like the last 15 minutes is gone. Well, uh, I went ahead and finished up around the edges, added some supports, uh, finished around the bottoms of the walls and add it in the floor. I'm not sure if I like this floor. Um, gotta kinda work around this uh, bedrock. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look that good. I guess the other thing I could do is raise the whole roof up one, raise this floor up just by one, and that would eliminate uh, the bedrock. Yeah, I'll probably have to do that. I'll have to save that for the next uh, time I get free time to play. So this is where we're at so far. I'm sorry I cut that out. Uh, yeah. Um, I think it looks good, though. I like this uh, look. Inside each of these open walls, we're going to have lights, uh, redstone lamps, with uh, my own sort of way I like to do them. Um, and it's going to be birch wood in there. And then the roof's going to be a mixture of birch and dark oak, so it'll add uh, more detail to the room. So let me know if that what we should do with the floor. Just let me know in the comments if we should raise the whole room up or just leave it as is. But I'm not sure if I can <laughs> deal with the bedrock there. Um, sorry I cut that out. Yeah. I'm still new to this recording thing. <laughs> I'm going to head back up to our base area. I'll see you there. Alright, so we're here back at our base. Um, I'm going to have to end, end the episode here. Um, I can't believe I forgot to press record. I was debating on tearing it all down and rebuilding it, but it, it took some time to do that, and I, I'm running out of time really bad right now, so I also wanted to mention I spread our grass a little bit more through this base, so it's looking a lot better. Um, but I'm out of dirt, I believe. Yeah. So we'll have to finish that later on. Um, so I guess the two questions I got for you today is... Or questions of the day. I think I'm going to start that. Questions of the day. 
So we got two questions of the day today. Um, our first question is, should we still move to the other mine that's over there by the swamp or close to that swamp biome? Um, or should we stay here so you know we found that abandoned mine shaft and just expand our mine that way? Our caving or our cave system into the mine shaft, the abandoned mine shaft. So that's our first question. And our second question is Should we raise the floor on our slime farm so that the bedrock isn't showing and isn't such an eyesore? Uh, uh, let me know in the comments and we will decide what we're going to do in our next episode. Um, we may go to the nether in the next episode to get glowstone as well. But, um, because I'm really getting tired of not being able to finish projects due to not having <laughs> finished projects. Ah! Uh, Get off my bed. Ah, no. <sighs> I'm just having a bad day. <laughs> uh, but, like I was saying, I'd like to be able to finish the projects with uh, redstone lamps instead of torches. Ah, darn creepers. I'm glad I was down there, not in front of my storage area, though. <laughs> well, all right. I'm going to end the episode now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.